Hey everyone, welcome back to week two of Talking Stealth on Letterman Row. This is our Sunday night, uh, two or three minute long, quick hitters of some things to watch for on Ohio State recruiting trail uh, for the week ahead. We're going to start with the most recent offer to a 2020 tailback. His name is Jameer Gibbs from Dalton, Georgia. He's a Georgia Tech commitment who in the season opener this year ran for 438 yards and eight touchdowns. Um, obviously a pretty explosive player. He doesn't play in the highest level of competition in Georgia, but he has an LSU offer and a few other big-time schools like that have extended an offer to Jameer Gibbs, and Ohio State is the latest to do that. Last week, we talked about uh, Henry Parrish, the running back from Miami Columbus High School, and how he was a guy that looked to be uh, moving himself up into the, the upper echelon of backs that Ohio State was targeting in the 2020 class. But right now, it looks like they prefer Gibbs for a number of reasons. I've, uh, generally speaking, when you're dealing with Dade County, there is always a lot more, um, what's the word, uh, drama, I guess. And uh, right now, with Henry Parrish, who's committed to Pitt, I think that the Buckeyes believe that a player like Jameer Gibbs is a better flip possibility than Henry Parrish is, especially when other programs in the South are still watching Gibbs as well, I'm sorry, Parrish as well. So that is the, the biggest thing of this week, I think, to, to keep an eye on that, to see if Ohio State does still offer Henry Parrish, um, or if they wait to see if Parrish and his potential um for an offer is contingent on Gibbs making a visit, which I think will happen uh, sometime in the next month or so. Beyond the running back situation, which we've talked about ad nauseum on the site, um, this past weekend Ohio State hosted Cincinnati. Obviously, you're aware of that. What you might not know is that Jackson Smith and Jigbo, Ohio State's 2020 uh, wide receiver commitment from Rockwall, Texas, made a sort of unexpected and surprise visit to Columbus this weekend to check out uh, the game and spend some time with the Buckeyes. That is obviously important when you consider how big of a game was happening in Austin, Texas, with the Texas Longhorns and the LSU Tigers on Saturday night. There was some pull uh, from people around the Njigba uh, camp, I guess, if you want to call it that, that were sort of hoping he'd make the trip down to Austin. Uh, he decided against that and instead made the, the flight Friday night, uh, a red eye to Ohio, um, spent Saturday and Sunday in Columbus and then bounced back uh, heading to um, Dallas uh, on Sunday evening. So look for... An update from Jackson Smith and Jigbo on Letterman Row this week when he tackles uh, that visit in his third installment of the senior tackle on Letterman Row, Jackson Smith and Jigbo's weekly recruiting journal. Um, finally, uh, Reed Carrico, the 2021 linebacker from Ironton, Ohio, four-star linebacker, ranked by 247 Sports as the top-ranked inside linebacker in the country, visited Ohio State for the game against Cincinnati as well. I think that when you're talking about a guy like Carrico, and if, if you've watched any of the other episodes of Bermanology on Letterman Row, which you should, um, you'll see that a handful of the, the young guys in the 2021 class especially have mentioned Carrico as a player that they absolutely are prioritizing in that group. He's one of the top-ranked uh, juniors in the state of Ohio and currently the top inside linebacker target on the board for the Buckeyes in that class. This visit was sort of... Uh, you know, off the cuff and, and sort of just uh, a guy making a trip. Reed continues to say he's not in a hurry to make a decision, but he's going to decide when he is ready. And this is not a kid that is is going to play much of the recruiting game. This week, Reed joined us on Bermanology on Ledman Road. That will air on Monday morning. If you are past Monday, go back and watch it. If you're watching this on Sunday night, wait till tomorrow morning and you can catch up with, uh, with Reed then. But the, the takeaway, and I think this is the important part for Buckeye fans, is that Yes, Clemson was involved. Uh, I think talking to Reed over the last few days and a few other people uh, ar around his recruitment that right now this is an Ohio State and maybe even a Kentucky battle, not necessarily Clemson. Uh, I do think that if the Tigers push, they could make this interesting. Um, but right now, I believe it's a matter of when and not if for Reed Carrick and Ohio State. So um, that is this episode of Talking Stuff on Letterman Row. Thanks for watching. Make sure you check out uh, Letterman Row this week when we're going to have Buck IQs, Bermanologies, uh, all the other things that are going on. Letterman Live on Monday afternoon um, from Roosters and uh, anything else that we can do to, to make sure that you, our faithful readers and watchers, are caught up as Ohio State heads into Bloomington for the first Big Ten game of the 2019 season. So I'm Jeremy Birmingham for Letterman Row. Thanks for watching this episode of Talking Stuff.